Hey Tiny House people, I got another gadget review for you. This is my review of the Duracell 600 Power Pack. It's an awesome little device that I've owned for a while and I have been using it like I'm actually living in the tiny house, but I'm not. But I'm using it like I am because I want to make sure that it'll meet all my needs. Um, it's just basically a power pack with a built-in inverter. It has a built-in 12 volt lead acid battery. It has an inverter with three AC sockets. It has a built-in emergency light, power indicator, indicating that in this case the battery is 100% charged. It has a clock and a radio which work great but I don't use them for anything. It has a DC socket on the side which is actually how I power the majority of my tiny house devices. I try to avoid using the AC sockets and the inverter because there's energy loss when you invert from DC power to AC power. Underneath this plate here, there's a plate right here, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's two terminals in there. I keep them covered so they don't short out. You can also charge through these terminals on the side. The unit works absolutely great, but it does have a lead acid battery inside of it. That's not the same as a flashlight battery or a cell phone battery. A lead acid battery has to be charged immediately after discharging. If you leave it partially discharged, like a, you know, a flashlight battery, you say, well, the, you know, the battery's half discharged, there's still, still some electricity in there, it should be good for another day or two you'll ruin the battery. You can't do that with a lead acid battery. You have to charge it quickly, um, immediately after discharging it, or the battery will sulfate, and basically means that um, it ruins the battery and the battery won't take a charge again. So if you leave it discharged, it will ruin the battery. Um, you can undo desulfation, but it's difficult to do. Very difficult to do. Sometimes mostly impossible, but you can deal with it, but it's easier just to avoid it. So the best way to care for a lead acid battery, any lead acid battery, car battery, deep cycle, disc deep cycle battery, use it for a little while and immediately charge it back up again before sulfation occurs on the lead acid lead plates inside the battery. Um, so that's it in a nutshell. Use it, charge it up right away. And to put this on solar, the easiest thing to do, well let me show you how it works first. It has an AC powered DC adapter which plugs in the side and you can see the indicator light showing that the battery is taking a charge. Now to put this on solar you simply don't use this because the charging mechanism is built into the case to give it a proper charge. So instead of using a wall charger you use a solar panel with the same plug on the end of the power cable and you plug it in the side. It fits right in there. It's designed to fit with in there. Um, there will be no green indicator light on the side of it right now because the panel is not out in the sun. But it works. It works great. I tried it. Um, I don't know how well it works in indirect sunlight, but I know it works great in indirect sunlight. Um, if the sun, uh, it works great if the sunlight is direct, but uh, indirect sunlight, um, I suspect will work just fine, but probably at a lower wattage. But it works great. Um, like I said, use it for a little while, put it back on the charger as soon as you possibly can. It's an uh, AGM battery, which is absorbed glass mat, which means it sulfates a little slower than other lead acid batteries, but probably not much. You really got to get it charged up again as soon as you know, you're done using it. So try not to use it for too long. And um, it's a great unit, uh, and that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Um, if you're on grid, which is fine, um, I'm not anti-grid. I'm perfectly happy to use grid power, but my project um, is going to be off-grid, and most of my devices are going to be um, low-volt devices, like uh, like this camera I'm holding in my hand, a cell phone, um, 
things in an HCD player, my solar boombox, these things don't need to be on grid. So I'm using off grid power as much as I can. You can't power an air conditioner with this unit. Um, it won't work for that. That requires massive amounts of electricity. But anything low volt, this thing will work great. Um, and that, uh, I'm going to call that quits. It's, it's a good unit. Um, I'll provide a link. You can buy this, I believe, on eBay, the power pack and the panel together as a kit. Um, I can't remember how much they go for. It's been a while. I've had this for over a year. Uh, but I'll provide a link if I can find one that works. And uh, I'm going to call that quits. Duracell 600, it's a good unit.